Beechcraft Landscape Grounds is a public artwork inspired by early advertising materials. I was particularly looking at this idea of assembling different fragments of scenes into one single flat surface of the canvas. My name is Hilmi Johandi. My work mainly deals with uh, sources uh, that is historical. I was interested in pictorial images to uh, old footages that were produced and shot in Singapore or around the region. And I had went through the process of lithography consistently in my practice. What we were deeply drawn to was Hilmi's own research and practice into uh, archival imagery or tourism collateral. His work really looks at the history of the Rio Corridor as a mode of transportation and communication that was used uh, largely during the period of time where the Rio Passage was actually run by the Federated Malay States Railway, the FMSR. What did this um, public art project allow for you? Because I think the space is a completely different one. Mm. Again, the parameters are completely expanded. Mm. Um, so what we have is, is a lot more space to work around with, mm. but at the same time, challenges are plenty. Going beyond the analog physical touch of making the work, prints were scanned. I had to cut out, tracing, draw out, fragments that had potential to be produced as the structures. One of the reasons why I had multiple prints of the same plate is advantage for me to try uh, different consistencies in the pigmentation of the mm. paint to see how the interaction between gouache or watercolour could sit in with the lithograph prints. Like how was it important to you when you were thinking about the work? Because I think you also mentioned before about how it, you know, we spent a lot of time on site trying to position the structures, position mm. how they would be apprehended. After being at the location for a while, I noticed how mm. passerby or interact with the space. Mm. I noticed there were trails along the grass patch. Yeah. So I too acknowledge that trail as a form of experiencing the work from one point mm -hmm. as passerby or people walking from that um, trail could also experience the work in a different manner. So while conventionally you will see these stage crafts like exist on stage from maybe the stalls of the mm -hmm. theatre, what you've done is that you've just invited viewers to go up close which is actually a very unique experience in terms of setting up you know, this scene and this environment for viewers to encounter your work. Oftentimes when we walk or when we move along spaces or move through spaces, we tend to do it slightly mindlessly or like, you know, to kill time or to walk fast. I think what we want to do is to really slow people down or to invite them to have fresh eyes towards these environments as well. A space that is quite plain and wide open is to deal with this potential of engaging with multiple perspectives mm. when encountering the work. So what's front and what's back? This conversation between the depth of space, the pictorial qualities of image making, mid-ground, background and uh, foreground. Wherever the viewer is standing, one is experiencing what these qualities are and how one could experience 